You will recall from the brief summary of separation in our air traffic services section that within controlled airspace, the Air Traffic Control Service, ATC, will make sure that all controlled flights are separated from each other so that the requirement to prevent collision is maintained. This section will specify the separation criteria used by the ATC services and the Area Control Service. To remind you again, vertical and horizontal separation is to be provided by ATC between all flights in Class A and B airspace, between IFR flights in Class C, D and E airspaces, between IFR and VFR flights in Class C airspace, between IFR flights and special VFR flights, between special VFR flights when so prescribed by the appropriate ATS authority. However, IFR flight in VMC during daylight in Classes D and E airspace may be cleared to climb and descend whilst maintaining its own separation. Clearances will not be given to execute any manoeuvre that would reduce the spacing between two aircraft to less than the separation minimum applicable. Larger separations will be applied whenever wake turbulence or exceptional circumstances, such as in-flight emergencies or unlawful interference, require the added protection of a greater separation. Remember, separation comes in two basic forms, radar separation or procedural separation. Whenever the type of separation or minimum used to separate two aircraft cannot be maintained or becomes insufficient to maintain safety, action shall be taken to ensure that a form of separation is implemented, such as vertical, horizontal or a combination of the two, that continues to ensure the safety of the aircraft. Vertical separation is obtained by requiring aircraft using the same altimeter setting to fly at different levels expressed in terms of flight levels or altitudes. The vertical separation minimum, VSM, is a nominal 1,000 feet below flight level 290 and a nominal 2,000 feet at or above this level and within designated airspace subject to a regional air navigation agreement, a nominal 1,000 feet below flight level 410 or a higher level where so prescribed for use in special conditions, and then a nominal 2,000 feet at or above this level. Except when specifically authorised by the appropriate national authority, cruising levels below the minimum flight altitudes shall not be assigned. Area control centres shall determine the lowest usable flight levels for the areas of airspace they are responsible for. The portion of a control area for which a particular lowest usable flight level applies is determined in accordance with air traffic services requirements. This will largely take into account radar and communications coverage and terrain clearance safety margins. An area control centre will normally allocate only one cruising level to an aeroplane for flight in the control area or for flight entering another control area. There are circumstances though that can influence the allocation of your cruising level. If a change in cruising level is required, the aircraft commander is to request a level change en route. Aircraft that are cruise climb authorised will be cleared to operate between two levels. When possible, if a number of aircraft are heading for the same destination, they will be assigned cruising levels that facilitate the correct arrival sequence at the destination. An aircraft may be assigned another level previously occupied by another aircraft, but now vacated. The levels allocated are to be in accordance with the table of cruising levels, except when otherwise allocated by ATC. Pilots in direct communication with each other may with each other's concurrence, be clear to maintain a specified vertical separation between their aircraft during ascent or descent.